Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution to discuss uh, some more uh, derivatives of trigonomic functions and now look at an example on simple harmonic motion. It's basically uh, moving in uh, oscillations or up and down or go it just repeats itself uh, like a sine or trig function. So basically the example of my calculus book, uh, which is pretty uh, interesting, uh, is this one here. States an, an object at the end of a vertical spring is stretched four centimeters beyond its rest position and released at time at t equals zero or time as shown below. And also, uh, you can also see this GIF is on Wikipedia or click the link, etc. So basically, you have something like this goes up and down, and if there's no friction, it's going to go on forever. So it just keeps going up and down at the max here. There's a center somewhere here and goes up, etc. And basically, the position at time t can be modeled by the function, well, this one here, s equals f of t, equals 4 times cosine of t. Once again, that's if you ignore friction, so that it keeps going on forever. So the question was basically, find the velocity at time t and use it to analyze the motion of the object. So if we have, let's say the rest position is somewhere here at uh, 0, and this is the maximum uh, that... Uh, it went all the way down to the maximum uh, height, which is, well, let's say four. Uh, four, I think it's, yeah, so whatever, meters, whatever you're working with. Basically, if this is four, we're working basically going down as positive. So then it would go back up as the negative four distance here. Yeah, so if you were to graph the, uh, basically the four coast with Google graphing, uh, uh, graphing calculator, you get something like this, except uh, once again, downwards is positive. So this one, uh, it's uh, by default top, so we would have to flip this around. Yeah, so here I've flipped it around, so basically uh, this way is positive, so that, again, there's one to this, it's flipped upside down. But uh, basically the idea is you start at the bottom, and then it goes up, it goes up and down, etc., as a sinus, or as a uh, trig formula, but in this case, a cosine curve. So it's going up and down and basically with time you're going to be following this like this so it's going to be down going up going down etc exactly how this GIF looks like right here so now if we want to analyze the uh, motion of the object if we take the derivative well, well let's just put this first as this is 4 cos t so the derivative of y prime or whatever or, or uh, s prime or f of t prime etc we just basically apply the derivative and the derivative of cosine t, that's just going to be negative, this is going to be negative sine t right here. You can see my video uh, below on proof for the derivative of cosine. So you get something like this. This is going to be the exact same thing now, except you'll start at uh, zero. And here I've uh, quickly graphed that function uh, right here, the negative 4 sine t, and, and I've flipped, up, uh, flipped it around upside uh, down as well, just because down is positive now. And so the red curve is going to be negative 4 sine t. So when we analyze this, basically what the what, uh, calculus book was trying to show is that uh, that basically the velocity, this one is number, remember, this is the velocity or the rate of change. So we'll go v equals to v right here. So the fastest it is going is basically whenever yeah, whenever the object actually reaches the zero right here. So this top speed corresponds to whenever the distance is zero or right when it's about to change. So as, and you can even see it from this uh, little GIF. It, it, as you can see, the fast speed is in the center and it starts slowing down whenever it's about to reach the maximum or the minimum, just like here. So basically the velocity is zero whenever there's a max or min. So in this case, there's a max, so in this case, yeah, min or minimum. Etc. So, and again, there's a zero whenever there's a plateau or a valley right here, basically when it goes down right here. So the zero whenever it does that. And so this is a really a good way of seeing the motion based based on the velocity. And as you can see, it's peaking at whenever it's about to change, going up or down uh, from the resting point right here at the zero, and it's maxing out. I mean, it's leveling off basically whenever the height's the max. And another thing I want to point out is the period or when it starts repeating itself and that's basically is going to be 2 pi is the period or we'll write period here and, it, and this, this corresponds to the same thing as cos sine of t right here as a period of 2 pi and you can see more on this in the video link below basically. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to show how the simple harmonic motion of this going up and down can be modeled with uh, trigonometry and the derivative you could find out 
uh, basically the motion and, and the velocity of it. Well, anyway, that's all for today. If you learned from this uh, useful example, remember you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.